cerebral palsy is a movement uh, disorder caused by abnormal development or brain damage before, during or after a baby's birth. Cerebral palsy affects movement, posture and muscle tone, reflex and balance. It causes abnormal reflexes, floppiness or rigidity of the limbs and trunks, involuntary movements and unsteady unste walking in some cases or some combination of these. Now, people with cerebral palsy could have issues with speaking and swallowing and there are more than 100,000 cases of cerebral palsy in Nigeria with most affected individuals in need of care due to cerebr cerebral palsy's effect on functional abilities. Though symptoms and severity differs from individuals to individuals most affected with the condition uh, and they still go on to fulfill uh, the purpose in life. And with me in the studio to talk about fulfilling purpose uh, while having a, a cerebral palsy is Toma Owunu. Good afternoon, Toma. Good afternoon. And it's good to have you here. Sure. Now, Toma, uh, I know that you are an artist. Yes. Um, part of why we brought you here is to tell us how are you able to paint, you know, uh, without using your hands? Well, I paint with my leg. With my leg. That's... How did you discover? When did you start painting? How did all of this happen for you? Actually, some years back, I watched a documentary. So I saw a guy using his leg. So I told myself that I can't actually do that. So I started by feeding myself. After that, I started feeding the children. Then there was this beautiful day, a friend of mine came in and she said, so we can try to do something better than feeding the children with your leg. Why can't you try to use the leg to paint? I said, well, are you sure? Am I going to be able to do it? She said, let us give it a try. And that's how we started. She would, she would draw an object on a, on a newspaper. And she would give me the painting brush to just do however that I want. And that's how God has made it to be possible. So, but I know we have a documentary on you, and it's called uh, uh, Toma Gifted Hands, and it will be airing on this platform today, sometime today, which you have seen a part of it. Uh, now, people are surprised when they see that you're able to do this, and I also know that you have a degree. Tell me about your days in school. My days in school was a very good experience. It was a very good experience. I never believed that I could go for by squeeze, I can do all things. So it was really, really fun and it was really, really challenging. Mm -hmm. I know, I can imagine. Now, let's talk about your art, your art work. You do all kinds of paintings, which us, of course we also have. Mm -hmm. Tell me what inspires your painting? What inspires my painting is my painting is on landscape painting. And it's talking about nature, it's talking about people. And so I think of the nature and the people. Mm -hmm. Lastly, Toma, I know that during the interview, the documentary with you, one of the things that were consistent is the fact that you kept on saying you're grateful to God. And then you also mentioned that no one is useless unless they choose to be useless. How yes. did you come about that? Because life, life will be something that you can't believe that you can do it. Life will try to paint it black. But if you see the colors white, that's how it's going to be. Okay, so finally, uh, I know you have a couple of paintings, artworks, and you also plan an exhibition. So how do we get your paintings, you know, where can we find them? Um, I can give you my number or my contact. Okay. So, I can come. so when we come to... You can order or come to where I live. Mm. I'll pick it up. Okay, very quickly, how long does it take you to complete one painting? It depends. Sometimes an hour, sometimes two hours, sometimes some days. It depends on the object, it depends on the picture that I have in mind or picture that I see. Okay, one last thing, Toma. What do you say to people who have cerebral palsy and who don't believe in themselves or that they can do something? And no, my, my advice for them is just for them to love yourself for who they are. I um, believe that God has a plan for their life. Thank you so very much, Toma, for joining us. And I recall also that during the interview, you said that everybody is important. So yes. thank you for sharing your life with us and this moment with us. Thank you, Stuart.